All right. Good morning, everyone. This is not inside the hex, but inside the hex. I uh, figured I'd do a little promotion here today for uh, for the hex membership platform, which I think is getting really awesome. I've been doing a lot of you know life lesson talks on Hexcast, and then you know taking you through a day in the life. Uh, and you just saw a house tour update, uh, and I uh, figured, shoot, it's been a long time since I've done a day in the life of the obsessed. Uh, so today I've got a lot to do. Uh, so it's 6.09. I don't normally get up this early, to be honest with you. Not even close. I normally get up around 6.30, 7.30, whenever I feel like it. So I don't live life on an alarm. But I've been uh, obsessing over getting the cabinets moved over from the OGHQ original building, 322, to the Yarn building in 304. And so um, people are working around the clock, so I, I don't have a lot of help. Um, they've, I'd rather them focus on what they're doing. Uh, and so I started tearing apart the cabinets, and now I want to go and get, I'm hoping today I can get those moved. I have to get back here early. Uh, we have to take Kate to the soccer game. There are soccer games because Ryan has a football game, so we have to split up divide and conquer, and um, who knows what else we'll get into. But I'm gonna make some eggs here real quickly, and then um, I don't have anything for lunch. So, oh, I do have something for lunch. Oh, Manny has been making meals uh, for everybody. You just, you know, he had set up a website, and so I've been buying those, so I can eat that for lunch, and uh, hopefully get a lot done today, so that's the plan. So let me whip up some breakfast real quick, and then we'll catch back up. All right, the garage is coming together. Get this out of here. Nice having the charger. Dang it. Having my freaking phone in my hand. Okay. So, the, uh, I'm driving my Tesla today. It's just the car that's here. So, the tile is almost done. Look at that. So good. I need some lag screws for the, for the cabinets of the garage. So yeah, the uh, tile tile should be finished today. Tile and grout. And uh, once that's done, what's going on with my box here? We'll bring our speakers back today, play with those tonight. Uh, I do have to mount the TV again. So we'll, uh, hopefully I did a good job marking where, this, where the holes are. But the I'll probably have to wipe the towel down once more. Maybe they'll do that before they leave. I ordered some Lutron cover plates here. This needs to be turned a bit. And the speaker wires. Well, Scott's going to come get this here shortly. This week, maybe tomorrow. But look at how good that looks. So, I'm attempting to get this garage and the arm building put together so I can start detailing some stuff. You know, the truck, truck needs to be detailed. And then just start organizing, start organizing the drawers and cabinets and putting everything together. So anyway, let's get moving. You know, I messed up on this. I should have, I should have had that thing mounted on a little bit of an offset, but I had to, I torque, I, I torque it down to this backer, to the stud I had in the back there. So now that looks a little weird. But, uh, but this is gonna be way cool to have a pressure washer on there. And see, we even did the, the back part there. All right, let's go. All right, let's get these freaking cars out of here. It's making me regret having so many of them when I need to do stuff. I have to move them around. I spent half my life moving cars around. I can't even freaking drive. All right, let's turn the uh, AC system off. And we're going to get these out of here. Tomorrow we're going to be doing some mounting and balancing of some wheels and tires. Hopefully the balancer on the Swiss track doesn't mess it up. But I'm going to get these cars out of here so I have room to work. And i got to move a car on the other side too. So I'm going to do that right now. So my desk setup is pretty legit. i got a sub 18S. <laughs> dual 9s. And then the... Uh, the LED 5s and then the Apollo Solos, my, that's my digital analog converter, and then I've got my MacBook. I ordered a new MacBook last night, which, I don't know, it's going to work. I'm going to need to 
do MagSafe. And I've got uh, the monolith amp uh, headphone amplifier and then my LCD X's, which I hate. I'm gonna sell those and get something different. So the cars were out. I already got, see, I already got the uppers over here, including the center. I'm gonna take all the drawers out. I'm gonna just set the drawers in place. And I think I'm just gonna bring them right through that door right there. Keep this, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but uh, we got a lot of work to do to take them apart next door. I'm gonna have to go disarm the alarm, which I don't think I can. And I freaking, I got the new phone, so all my passwords are on. And Michelle, Michelle is the third party authenticator for the other thing. Anyway, uh, I gotta get to work. All right, it's complete chaos in here. I'm done with this chaos nonsense. I say this all the time, I'm gonna do this one at a time. So this car gotta get out of the freaking way. We got speakers everywhere. You know, we got decon soap, I've got pressure washing crap, dry ice thingy. But I'm taking apart the cabinets. I'm gonna take all the drawers out, take them over there one by one. Then I gotta pull this thing out, take it apart, and then we're gonna rebuild the cabinet array from from scratch. So I gotta take all these bottom pieces off and take all the drawers out. I'm gonna start with taking the drawers out, take them over you know, one set at a time. So I'm gonna turn the AC off in here, start working on this. Again, if you haven't been watching, this whole thing is gonna become shipping. So I'm gonna leave the lift in here until I get the other lift operational. The other lift is in transit, semi-organized chaos. I like only organized, drop the chaos. It's time to get moving. All right, so I got this cleaned out and we did a remove drawers for time and carry them over there. It's freaking nuts, a lot of stuff. So all I gotta do is empty out these three cabinets. I'm gonna detach and get this thing out of here and then I can hopefully get the cabinet right. Oh, I'm gonna take all the bottom pieces off and then I'm hoping for three or four people we can pull it off the wall. It's probably pretty well stuck there. I wonder why I got turkey basers. That's for um, brake fluid. Want to know. It's your brake brake reservoir. All right, so I'm gonna carry some more stuff over to get the speakers out of here and over there, and then I'll start to tear all this apart. All right, we're uh, making progress. I was I don't know doing this all myself, but this is way better, way better. And the problem is I don't get the credit for it then. It's all right. Get it done. Chemical warfare. We're gonna do a serious clean out. If I haven't used something in two months, guess where it's going? Dumpster. Not too shabby it is. 8.41 a.m. And we're uh, moving. So I'm gonna set the corner cabinet. Oh, there's all my dining room. Yeah, this is good. So I'm gonna move the rest of these over. And then we'll, uh, and that's right, I have that little beam there. We'll, we'll touch up this wall and be getting all kinds of racking in here and all that stuff. The lift's gonna stay here for now until I get my other lift set up. But I'm gonna get the cabinets done so that way I can set the lift where it needs to go. Uh, and my lift should be here sometime next week, something like that. There's a lot of stuff that goes in those cabinets. Yeah. Fill up an entire floor. So I've been now uh, using the eraser, cleaning them out, you know, wiping them down. Probably should wipe them down over there, but uh, just getting these set up and then figure out what the configuration is going to look like. Let's hope my measurements were correct. And then you know, we got all this stuff to deal with. So I've got to hoof it today because tomorrow we're doing my wheels and tires. So I've got to really work for it. Whatever you do, just don't slide them in here. I'm gonna try to, this floor I'm gonna try to make nice. So now I'm just gonna kinda, of, as I clean them, I'm gonna go and figure out which cabinet needs to go where. I've also gotta be cognizant of the, uh, of the tops and how those are set up as well. All right, we are completely in, we're set up. So now I'm just gonna clean them all, position them all, Kyle and Tommy will come over and tell me I'm doing it all wrong. We'll move it around three times, and then we'll start. Then I'll start to 
kind of loosely put them together and then we'll level everything because we did, I never actually set the level on any of them <laughs> in the other in the other garage. So yeah, I got my work cut out for me today. That was the hard part. In two hours. I had everything, two and a half hours, I had everything over here. And I guess three hours. That was yesterday. A lot of hours. Let me just say that. So the cabinets are going to change the whole look and feel of this place. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to trim that. That uh, Swiss tracks is kind of bowing up over there. Let's see if I can stomp that down. I cut this one pretty tight here in the corner. I'm going to have to trim this up a bit. You guys keep going. Pretend I'm not here. So, just doing this. Uh, we had a meeting today, so figuring some things out. Thing but I need to. I'm test fitting this uh, this thing for um, the guys from racing. So let me call him now. And now the do that. Is responsible for. So when they verify. Right here. Let's show you what I'm doing here. Yeah. 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 We had a meeting with the uh, leadership team. We're working on um, making our transition from living life with inventory to living life without. And so, uh, the guys are asking me to test fit this for you. Um, the living life without inventory is a trick with them. And so, uh, I've asked them, we've been having multiple meetings, we're figuring out to trans transition the website to a reserve your spot. Um, mentality. So if you lock your spot down, we're going to get the product to you whenever, you know, whenever, as soon as we can. Uh, because, you know, people are going to be wanting to buy products and they're just not going to be available. So this concept here is that, you know, like for instance, when you want to buy sauna cabinets, you pay for the cabinets, lock your spot down, that uh, reserves it. And then, you know, the second we get it, we ship it out. Well, we're going to have that with pretty much every product, hoses and pressure washers and all this stuff. And so we were talking about, the, you know, how are we going to do this? Because we're going to have to split up shipping instead of just waiting for everything to come in stock. How are we going to tag everything um, so that if someone has something that's waiting for someone, that, that we lock it down for their, their spot? You know, when we have thousands and thousands of orders coming in over the course of a month, how can we manage that? Uh, and so I got every department head in here and we sat down and talked about how are we going to transition to a business where we're, and I don't want to stay there, but while the supply chain is jacked, how can we, how can we do this? So, um, anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to take pictures of this tow hook here for the guys from racing, uh, on my GT4 and, uh, and, uh, I'll go back to you when I start building the cabinets again. All right. So we determined this needs to be three quarters of an inch longer than the 3D printed shaft that they made for me here, just to test out. This is uh, racing, so Jared Singh and his company, they uh, make some of the cool stuff on the planet for Porsches and BMWs and other cars. And so they asked me, since I have a 91 GT4 and they don't have one, if I could take it, take it apart and show them what fits. So I did the rear tow hook. The rear tow hook needed to be an inch and a quarter longer. And then they'll send me another one and we'll test that out. All right, so we figured that out. Um, the other thing we talked about in our meeting was uh, I'm going to be gone doing John's Garage up in Atlanta for uh, eight, nine, ten days, something like that. Me, Mike, my dad, um, Kyle, Bryce, like a wobble, we're all going up to, to do this amazing garage. Uh, uh, you know, John basically gave me his credit card and said, uh, and Kyle, and said, do everything. And he's even done stuff as I've come out with new stuff since we started this process. Um, we were like, we're doing uh, core 59s and core sub, and we're doing some, some uh, NAD stuff, and uh, you know, a Mosmatic drying system is going to be freaking epic. But we're going to be gone, and I don't want the YouTube channel getting lax. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do a hex, hex vlog free for a week. So, free hex vlog for a week on the YouTube channel, like I'm doing here today. And. Um, so you're going to want to check that out next week. Chris is going to give you a day in the life. We're going to take the ones that we've already done, like Jeff and Kyle and we'll have Bryce. And we'll have, uh, you know, Andrew. And we'll get a couple, a bunch of other people. Ted, 
uh, to give you a day in the life of what it looks like to do their life and their job, not just me. And so I bought, this is actually the, the white Sony ZV-1 I bought, and so I've been vlogging on this camera, they're going to vlog on the other camera, and uh, it's funny to watch them squirm. It's uh, it always makes fun of Maddie, but um, I have the, an uncanny ability to stand on camera and talk for 45 minutes straight that uh, it's not as easy as it looks. It makes me feel good about myself. So back to building, I gotta get some headway in here uh, so that way we can make some room for the cars to come back in as well as for uh, tomorrow we can do my mounting and balancing video stuff. All right, everybody needs a leveling specialist in their life. It's Kyle, the leveling specialist. Getting the cabinets level out. And then I'm working on putting these, so I'm sucking it in uh, just I didn't account for the uh, wire pipes pushing toward the back here, so I'm a yeah, good thing I'm not claustrophobic. I've got many neuroses, but claustrophobia is not one of them. So we're working through it. It's surreal, you know. It's kind of the same situation when, when I moved out of the other side over to here. It's like all the possibility, but I always forget to look back at all of what happened, you know, the journey part of it. What did we do in here? How did this go? How much fun do we have? What what projects do we do? I mean, what what do we build in here? Yeah, this reminds me a lot of you know the first time if you got rid of all these pressure washers, the first time I had just the lift. Remember when I had just the twin bush lift on the other side? I was trying to lift the Raptor tires up on there. Yeah, this is coming out and going to my house. Oh, also keep in mind the um, the Mosmatic gun so this combo's on sale all the rest of the month we've sold tons of them but keep buying people you need i need you i need you so that is on sale 15 percent off for the for the og gun package and then of course people have been adding all kinds of other stuff here's another prototype this is going to my house there's another prototype of something i'm going to be working on which would be an all-inclusive uh, system for mounting the pressure washer at the uh, OG followers been working on with me. The tools over there. Yeah, check it out, man. Building the cabinets over there, but just working on this one piece at a time. So this, all these hose reels are going to come out, which kind of stinks, but they're going to come out. Mike and I'll be working on that next month and putting them next door. I don't know. I don't know if we'll, we'll probably re end up reusing the Pete Prevost pipe for the third relocation. It just, just hit me. It's like I hit a brick wall. I, uh, I'm ready to take a nap. Shoot. I gotta keep going. I gotta get all these drawers in here. So I think I'm gonna have to go to Kate's soccer game and then just come back here tonight after Ryan. Because Ryan has a football game, Kate has a soccer game, so we're gonna be go to Kate's soccer game. And then, um, I guess maybe I'll come back here late tonight. I don't know, because I've got meetings in the morning. So maybe I'll get up, because I got you know, a 7.30 meeting in the morning with my business owners group. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I've got a couple more hours. What time is it? It's 2.30. Yeah, I have to leave here at like 4.15. Anyway, making progress. Got all the back pieces on. Once Kyle gets it all level, then I can go and tighten it up. Get everything moving. And then I can start to address all this stuff. So it'll look a lot more put together when I address all that. Okay, we're in. So I gotta go to Kate's soccer game. We've got, um,. I'm gonna push all this stuff up against the edge here, but the cabinets are together. I'm just kind of messing around with the lighting. Um, the subwoofer's gonna go in that spot, uh, but they're just gonna kind of push all this stuff so that tomorrow we can do some tire mounting and balancing, and then um, they can get the cars in here tonight. So all those boxes are gonna go over there. Probably put the countertops on top of the cabinets so that way they're not in the way, and we're good. Dang it, I just, oh, I need like two more hours. Two more hours and I'm gonna have this all set up. What's up, Chasey? I'll talk to you later, bye. 
Uh oh, what's up, Mama? Look at this, Daddy. What? Kate is ready for her game two hours early. Oh, shoot. She's already dressed and ready. She's going to be fired up. Ryan, we're ready. We're going. Go. Playoff game, first ever playoff oh, win. I can't wait. It's a playoff okay. game? Yes. They made the playoffs. They're playing a. That's why it's at night. They're playing a top seed. They get to play under the lights for the first time. It was the number one team. So, what time are we going to leave four. here, Kate? 5 30? She's so, she's so cute. She says, I'm really nervous about my game. I said, why? You've had all these games. Because I'm playing for dad and grandpa. And I'm, I got it. I really want to do good for them. So she might do really well today. But okay. take two chairs, okay? So you guys don't have to sit in the sun. Yeah, Hold it. They're in, you already ready? got them from the Tesla or somewhere. Mommy, no, the chairs, my, the, the fancy chairs? You put them here. somewhere. We need yeah, a new one. We need a new one. The other choice, we and need if you a new pull down the attic, we have a bunch of camping chairs. We need a new yeah. one of those little things. We'll just sit on the bleachers. Well, then you have to sit in the sun sometimes. It's up we to you. You do what you want. KB, All right. you ready? Here's your choices. Okay, These are right. the did, things. Did you, did you see my garage? Holy crap. Yes. It's I done. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, what happened? Oh, the garage is done. I ordered some Lutron outlets. And, uh, yeah, this, this wall looks incredible. Wait till I have the stainless shelves on there. Pressure washer. It's gonna cost me a fortune. The garage is done. I'm gonna put my little wipe counters down, put my speakers on, hook them up. I'm gonna do that, I'm exhausted. All right, got a little, it's a little janky, but the work's gonna be behind the TV anyway. So there's my Cat6 connection and my HDMI connections for the TV. I've got a, uh, I got a Lutron outlet coming for there. Uh, I got two Lutron outlets coming from here, uh, and then I've got um, this thingy that I've got to deal with here, which is like the old cable line, which. Rather than patching the wall, I decided to just do a wall plate. And so conveniently, a Lutron blank plate and others just showed up right this minute as I was out here working on working in the garage getting my speaker set up. All right, they don't look quite as pretty as I was hoping they'd look in here, but the crispness of these heritage specials like the sharpness of the edges, even though these are totally like retro looking. This is like an E36 M3 with a, um, with a McLaren chassis. You know, just the sharpness, like you'd almost, almost cut your finger on the edge of that. So this is a, this is the Isotar 3, which is the same tweeter from the, um, from the confidence line, you know, the $45,000 pair of speakers. And then I've got some um, ISO acoustic stands, ISO Aperta 200s. And so I'm um, just unboxing it here now. These are going to be the speakers in the garage here. So freaking sweet. All right, got my speakers in place. It's perfect. Another speaker over here. Got some chairs for Kate's game. I've got some bonus time in here. I got my speakers set up. I gotta tune the system, set up my subwoofer. So Scott's getting his door, I think, tomorrow. And then uh, we got my NAD M33. So these are being powered by, you know, we could still use some more power, but this is, you know, 200 watts per channel, class D uh, NAD amp. And so what I'm doing is um, got it set up so that I'm listening Blue OS, face ID on here. So we listen Blue OS. So here's our here's our NAD. Right now I don't have the Dirac calibrated yet, but uh, what I will do, you know, I've done some Dirac quick calculations, calibrations. But um, so right now I'm running off. Uh, the um, E M33 doesn't sound very good stock. And then you can see when we look at the at the, at the audio, see how it says MQA. And so now I'm able to listen to high res, 192, 24 uh, bit, 192 kilohertz streaming on my dual speaker setup here, which of course the darn speakers are too far apart. So I think Dirac will help with that. 
but TV's going there. I'm gonna get in here and shorten all of my wiring up there and clean the wiring up. Uh, all the um, ethernet cables are too long. And now, you know, we'll start to embark upon an organization project. But the next big thing for the garage will be doing the, uh, doing the Swiss tracks. And we're gonna do a series, uh, like an instructional series. We're gonna shoot this really well. And we have quality lights and we'll, we'll do that this week. I guess not this week, the following week. Ready to go? Let's do it. Let me get my sunglasses. Oh, Alright G, you gotta warm it up. Okay. Go run to the bleachers over there and back as fast as you can. You ready? When do I go? Three, two, one, go. She's gonna quit halfway. Oh, she's pretty fast. Oh man, she's gonna do the whole thing. Got the star of the show here. Wait till you see this. I'm not even gonna video the soccer. It's an, an atrocity. Not good. Good job. You're barely even breaking a sweat. You need me to lace them up for you nice and tight? So, gee, listen to me. You gotta get in there and mix it up. Stop playing back. I want you in the middle. Hey, look at me. I want you in the middle of the pack at all times. This is pack mentality soccer. Yeah, you just go and just run around with the ball like everybody else does. Kate likes to kind of play back defense. And then she starts yelling at him. Can I do can I um can I do a um back pedal there back? That's too far. We'll go no. to this you'll do a back pedal to that other goal right there. A white goal? Yeah, one right behind us. You mean to lace them up better or what do you got? No, it's not so for that. Ready? When do I go? Go. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. That was a fake trip. Alright, do a um do the karaoke thing. Can you do those? Can you do that one? Ow, that hurt. Ready? Do something. Do something cool. Oh there you go. There you go. Yeah, they're late all the time. This is a real athletic disaster, this thing. Okay, how did the game go? I, I didn't get much footage, but I didn't get any footage because I was watching the game intently. You guys played so much better than ever I've seen you. You had like at least two shots on goal. You just missed on a penalty kick at the end. You guys lost two to three in penalty kicks, but it was one to one. This was the score. What else, what, what else did I miss? What else did you do? You got kicked in the face, the ball. Remember you were kicking you. the cheek? That was good. You didn't cry, you went right after it. You, you, um, you're very assertive. Always doing the throw-ins, always doing the penalty kicks. What else? That's it? No, I'm texting mom. Okay. Telling her it was great? No, I'm saying, hey mom, right, we What are we going to eat for dinner? Did you eat dinner already? I had a snack before. Let's see if we can figure something out. Alright, I really want to edit this video tonight so I can get it up as quickly as possible, so... I'm gonna cut it short here today, but uh, let me set this on the speaker, duck down here a little bit. So, um, man, what a crazy day. You know, I, and again, I don't normally get up and start, I was literally running from one place to the next, trying to get as much done as possible. Because tomorrow, tomorrow I'm gonna shoot another vlog uh, for Inside the Hex specifically, uh, and we have the guys coming from Hunter. Uh, I wanna get, the cabinets clean, you know, in the inside of the uppers and clean those out. I want to put the countertops on. I want to um, start to organize and put some of the stuff away. I'll probably end up throwing away half of it. Um, so, you know, cleaning out the drawers and start to organize those a bit. Uh, so I'd like to do that probably most of Thursday. Um, so t tomorrow afternoon and Thursday. So I'm hoping by the end of Thursday I have the garage pretty well put together, you know, the yarn yarn garage. I also want to tune these speakers and um, kind of get, you know, get some things, get the outlets changed over. I'd like to get the TV up here this weekend. You know, that'd be nice. And I'd also like to work on mounting the shelves. Uh, and then we'll probably wait 
and do the uh, do the pressure washer on camera. So I'll probably do the pressure washer and the. And I might wait for Mike to do that. So that that would be uh, mid next month. Uh, but we are going to do the Swiss tracks flooring. Um, I'm telling you, we made some real strides today in our meeting. You know, figuring out our process. The if we're going to survive and um, and you have any chance of getting your stuff, like stuff that you want, uh, we're going to have to transition over to a to a more you know, a different relationship. Uh, like I said, it's kind of like. It's kind of like you know you order cabinets and then when they come in you know you get them you know you order a couch and it takes you know six to eight weeks. The only problem is we're really not going to be able to make much predicting. So let's say you order a 1122 portable solution and the inlet hose doesn't come. You know we're going to split it up and we're going to ship out you know everything we have. Uh, the pressure washer let's say that comes in six weeks. The pressure washer goes out. And then let's say we finally get some inlet hoses eight weeks in, we ship that out. And so I just know if it were me, I would, um, <clears throat> you know, I want the pressure washer. And I figured out how to use it. I'd go use my old garden hose or I'd cut something and try to make it work until I got the final solution. And I know most of you are that way too. And so um, we're going to need to transition to a, to a you know, reserve your spot. And, and then the other advantage of that is that you're locking in your price. Your price is nailed from now until, you know, until it shows up. And chances are the prices are going to go up between now and when you get it. Um, so you're locking in your pricing. You're locking in your spot. And so that's what we spent a lot of time in the meeting today. How do we ensure that, let's say, John buys whatever, an inlet hose, and John's number 33, how do we keep John number 33 and not have it get kind of weird when some other order comes in and another one and we get, we get disorganized? And you know, when you're talking about we have about 2,000 individual products, so <clears throat> it gets quite a bit complicated. Uh, and so we're working on both software and just paper, pencil if we have to, uh, on a lot of this stuff. Uh, we did spend quite a bit of time with UPS and their department where they help you figure out how to ship. So we're, we're about to change the way the warehouse is set up and we'll probably do that after Black Friday. Um, but what I'm hoping to do on Black Friday is that you, you know, you order your stuff. The other thing I'm hoping to do, or, or you order stuff and even though we're not going to have most of it and you're, or you order it for a gift or something like that or somebody orders it for you, uh, I want to come up with some way to give some sort of little card or something like that that they can at least wrap and say, hey, your custom install pressure washer was ordered. Um, we got your sp spot locked in line. You know, your favorite place obsessed garage, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's coming to you soon. Uh, and then we're going to add you to an email list. So everybody that uh, is in back order that's waiting is going to get an, on an email. I want to do that once a week and I want to make that like a new inside the hex. It's like inside the reserve, you know, or <laughs> reserve, the reserve list or something like that. So everybody who has something on back order is going to get a special video each week and I'm going to do some crazy crowd, I don't know, make some parody videos and do some fun stuff uh, just to keep you entertained while you're waiting on your pressure washer to show up or your stainless shelf or something like that. So, you know, I don't like this. I'd rather just have everything in stock and have a warehouse full of everything and you order it and we ship it instantaneously. But I think that this is going to be like a multi-year problem, major, major problem. And I think lots and lots of businesses could very likely go out of business. And I don't want to be one of them. Uh, and I want, you to, I want you to get your stuff. And, you know, I'm sure some people get bent out of shape about this and you're just trying to take people's money. Well, I am trying to survive taking people's money uh, and then locking down their spot, locking down their price and delivering it to them as efficiently as possible. So anyway, I also talked with AR Blue today about negotiating on um, maybe making a custom uh, Sus Garage Presser Washer. I also talked a lot about the 675 Pro. Um, I'm not particularly interested in doing all the promotion so that all these goofy piggybackers can jump on and copy descriptions and copy photo ideas and then just sit there and wait to, to capture sales from me or capture sales from the marketplace. My argument to Kyle, uh, who's the owner of AR, was that, you know, there's a pie. Let's say that pie is 5,000 pressure washers. 
I want them, you know, they're the gatekeeper of their pressure washer. I want them to vet who, who, is, who is adding to the pie and who is just taking a slice. So who's showing up and just taking a slice of the pie and who are the ones that are actually, you know, creating a new customer base and, and creating value to people instead of just creating a retail outlet. So I spent, I was on the phone with them for like an hour plus today talking about, you know, how, how can we do this? Because uh, again, I'm not interested in doing it again, like, like what happened with Krenza or you know, like the MTM SGS-28 or the, the Mosmatic um, gun where they didn't even exist. No one was buying them. It wasn't something. Um, well, the SGS-28 didn't even exist or the Mosmatic gun with the built-in swivel wasn't in, even in the catalog. It was just a line item. It was a skew. There was no photo. There was no description. There was nothing. So I'm, I'm learning how to work on protecting that, um, but not hoarding it, figuring out a way just to make sure that, you know, it only goes to places that are going to provide an extra piece or an extra, you know, help, an ingredient to the pie, if you will. So it's a weird place. I'm going to figure out how to do this someday. I talk a lot about this inside the hex, you know, for you guys that are just part of the YouTube channel here. Um, so I would, I would, I would ask you to go over there, pay the sixty bucks, and we do. You know, we've been doing two, three, four, five videos a week there as well on top of the YouTube channel. And I, I just hired somebody, Chris, who's going to come and follow me around with the camera all day, every day, all the time. And I'll also add to editing so we don't end up without videos every single day. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, and, you know, highly, you know, uh, would really appreciate it if you'd highly consider becoming a member of Inside the Hex. And um, I'm going to appreciate all of you that, um, that buy into this methodology that... I want you to get stuff, I want to sell the stuff to you, and I want to lock it down and nail your price down, and then get it to you as soon as we can. So, and this is what I share, you know, these are the things we have to figure out in life, and I share this uh, every, you know, at least once a week inside the hex. So thanks for watching. Yeah, garage is coming together. This place is looking freaking sweet. So. Just in time for me to enjoy it for a couple of years while we build our house. So I did share the plans um, of the uh, of the house. I'll probably share the plans here later, but I did share it uh, ahead of schedule ahead of time on Inside the Hex. I've made a lot of tweaks and changes to it. I haven't shared yet. Uh, meeting with my interior designer via Zoom on uh, Thursday, and then I'm meeting with the architect again um, after I get back from Atlanta. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned for more crazy. I'll see you in the next one.